Hello everybody and welcome back to Purbeck Valley Farm. So I have here the pallets which were just left. We have two more fertilizer pallets as well which will move in the future. Or we might just bring the fertilizer spreader over here and consume them. Uh, but anyway, yeah, today we're going to start with this field just here. We are going to get this field cleared just to begin with. I want to just get it out of the way. Um, it would be a good field to get some slurry on as well. And then once that is done, we can decide whether or not we want to continue with more mowing. Uh, I actually get a comment yesterday saying, can you do something different? All you ever do is silage and crops, or arable crops or something. Um, and I just sort of thought, that's what farming is. Uh, so I have livestock. Um, but no, unless you were doing some kind of I don't know, tractor racing or tractor pulling, you're kind of going to be doing the same sort of things all the time. Anyway. Yeah, what we'll do is... Um, I want to put that lorry somewhere out of the way, actually. The lorry is probably best off in this pit here. Yeah, it should fit. I need to empty the pit, so very quickly we'll get everything out of here. And then we're going to take that forage wagon over to that field behind us, and we will begin. It's all a bit busy at the moment. I need more space. We do have more space at the other farm. We'll probably have to take some stuff over there. Well, the first load. That's only a good thing about that comment again, and I think really the other thing which I could do is placeables. Maybe that's what the uh, the commenter means. I'm not too sure, um, but yeah, they just said, "Can you do something else?" So uh, we could do something like greenhouses, or maybe one of those placeable production mods like um, beekeeping, or I think well, there's absolutely everything. I can remember in FS17 was it 15? We could do everything. You could even make fizzy drinks. It, it was quite incredible. I did do quite a bit, um, probably not as much as I would have liked to have done, but yeah, I, I think it was quite incredible, all these different production models. And there are a few in 19, certainly. I have seen some. Anyway, yeah, um, I think greenhouses, they could be a strong contender for this map if we can find a suitable place for them. There is actually like a placeable yard down the road from here. It's very flat, very open. Um, featureless because that's I think it's like an area to build your own yard but that could be like a business area why do I keep hitting is there, a, there must be a collision on ah oh, there's barbed wire there I didn't realise ok well yeah um, when we have the money we'll definitely consider doing something like that that will certainly mix things up a bit and the other thing is we could potentially actually move farms all together we could go to a completely new area on the map because there are quite a few different areas which I haven't really touched on at all and it would be quite nice to be there. Uh, the reason why I started with this farm is because of the memories of Knaveswell and this was the, the main farm but there are other places to go to so we don't have to stay here we could sell up completely. We could just harvest the crops that we've got growing at the moment and then after this in-game year move on. I guess that makes sense for the cows as well. Since this is the cow farm, they'd have to move on as well. Um, let's just take a look. Yeah, you see, we could go to with a pig farm here. There are many different. Oh, stops. There are many different things that we could do. But anyway, yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to apply any slurry to this field. It actually looks like it has got 
an application of fertilizer still active on it. Um, but I'll just check the map first and then we'll figure it all out. Can't wait for that field there to start growing because it's going to cover up all those horrible marks where I did the different applications of fertilizer. But there we go, that is this field finished. I already know that we don't need to have so many grass fields, so we can certainly either sell some or just plough them up. Right, so we get this tips into the pit. I'm going the long way around because that gateway can be a bit tricky. Although I have to watch the barbed wire. Right, I'm not going to compact it at the moment because we're going to have more coming in. There we go. So, that field, let's just take a look at it. Field number 61, fertilizer. Yeah, should be able to take another application. So, that's what we'll do next. Right, so if I use the John Deere, then we can also pick up those two pallets at the same time. Uh, we have 89% digestate in here. Not too sure if that's going to be enough. But we'll spread it first, and then we can always come back for a bit more. But the thing is, this field is not very big, so... I would imagine it would be enough. This thing does consume the slurry at a fairly decent rate. Now that I've mentioned having like a massive yard of greenhouses, I really am thinking I want to do that. So thank you to the person who left that comment, because you've really made me want to do something else. Um, I think we... I actually did do something very similar. I think it was on the Valley of the Old Farm. It would be exciting to do something where we have the whole area filled with greenhouses and it's just making so much money. I think you probably get paid at midnight, not too sure. Um, but no, just a, such a productive yard. And the thing is, they usually take water and solid manure. We have both of them, where water's easy. And all we have to do is give the, the cows some straw and they'll produce some solid manure. So it's going to be pretty much free to run the greenhouses. So with the exception of building them, it's almost 100% profit. Very interesting stuff. We're going to check out that yard after this and then we'll see if it's going to be worth doing. The other problem is you might have to buy other fields around the, the sort of yard, the placeable yard, at the same time. It depends if it comes as a block of land or if it's an individual area. But yeah, we will figure that out very soon. Uh, this is going to run out, it's 50%, so um, yeah, I don't think we're going to cover the whole field. But it's fine, we have no shortage, we'll just run back and get it filled up. And you decide if you want to see me again. You want to see me again. You want to see me again. Yeah, so as you've seen, I've taken one back, we'll take the other one back. Oh, this is all very riveting stuff. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, it's annoying, I have to keep driving in this field. Don't know if we'll ever get a telehandler, that was the plan. Okay. Oh, look at that, it's only 4% in there. Hardly worth taking it. Just to tidy things up a bit. So we'll keep it attached. The spreader. Put this over here. It's going to take like one second to consume once we start using it. The fertilizer in the bag. And I think the next thing to do is fly up into the air, as I do in most episodes, and check out that area. Yeah, so as you can see, it looks to me like it's been laid out as just a an open space to construct your own yard or do anything with. So it would be a shame for it to go to waste. 
you can get a farmhouse. I think, well, we might not need it all, but, well, you never know. We could also uh, plough up a section of it and put a crop in. It doesn't have to stay as just a, a load of concrete. So it does come with some trees. It's £181,000, so that's going to be quite a big chunk of our profits when it comes to uh, the end of harvest. But, uh, yeah, depending on... Well, I think actually a greenhouse is like something stupid as well. Um, although they are. They are quite expensive in real life. So it would be a big business venture. We can take out a loan, so we, we can't rule it out. But, yeah, I'd like to do that. I think it'd be quite interesting. You've got all these trees here, which is, you know, it's a, it's a nice area, but it just it's not really needed for us. Unless we took all the trees down, but, yeah then it wouldn't be a very nice area. Okay, so I'm gonna to get to sleep now, even though it's only half two in the afternoon. Uh, there's nothing really happening with the fields, everything is just sown, nothing is germinating at this stage. So hopefully the next day will bring something different. Nothing like a glistening slurry field in the morning. Okay, right, um, so has anything happened? Everything is yellow. Sometimes it does take a few minutes to update uh, when you have skipped time, so we'll just wait and see. But so far, there is not a lot of change. Oh no, there we go, fin number 5 is updated. So we can probably apply... oh no, it's already fertilised. Unbelievable. Oh, 82 has updated. And it needs loads of fertiliser. So that is what we'll do. We're going to hold off with the grass at the moment. We might plough everything up. I'm not too sure at this stage. We will see. Okay, so yeah, it's all about getting these fields really productive so that we can make as much money as possible to do the greenhouse venture. Do you think we should do it? Please do let me know down below. Is it worth doing? I think the thing is, it's like anything. You, you've got to do enough of it for it to be worthwhile. Why did I park my spreader there? It's completely blocked in by a conveyor belt. There we go. So we can hopefully use the uh, the, the, the fertiliser which was left over straight away. I saw an interesting mod on ModHub actually. It's the, um, the tyre sound mod where it adds the sound of the tyres to the tractor when it's travelling at high speed. So that's an interesting thing to see, or listen to. I might get it in my videos at some point, it just depends on whether or not it would work too well. I don't know, because sometimes like, if you're playing on your own and you're not doing a video, things like that can just be amazing. But when I'm doing a narrated video, sometimes sounds can become a bit overpowering and they can take over my voice and stuff. So I don't know, it, we could, you can adjust the volume of it. So yeah, I think it probably will be worth getting it. And with the fertilizing, it always helps if you go to the right field. It's a tight squeeze through here. Yes, I always usually have huge machinery on the time maps. Well, and huge machinery on the big maps as well. Okay. Oh, it hasn't actually um, germinated as such. Well, at all. But it does allow us to apply fertilizer. So that is good. Let's get this first application on. The second application can be done once it's grown a bit. Probably about half the height it's going to be. And once this is done, I'll take a look and see if any other fields are ready to do. I think it might be slowly updating the field statuses, so with a bit of luck, there will be something else. Right, so if there isn't anything else, we're going to plough up a grass field. 
well, we'll probably cultivate a grass field. So that's the first application on. Field 51 would be my chosen one. Okay, it's next to this one. Um, yeah, I think that would be a good one to, to cultivate. But do we have any movement on these? No, everything else is just planted, not growing. It's probably also to do with the germination temperature. It is still potentially a bit low for some of those crops. The other thing which we could do, although it's not really worth it that much, is contracting. I don't think there's a huge amount of money in it, but it does allow you to obviously explore the map a bit. You can go to different areas, uh, fields which you don't own. I think at the moment I'm just going to focus on our own land. Okay, let's just put this here. Now we own the Vardestad carrier, which I thought I'd left in here, but obviously it must be over at that other field. If I was to hazard a guess, I would say, uh, let's see if I've got it right, that it's that thing just there. It is, okay. So we've got a bit of a drive, but that's fine. And then we can just rip up that grass field. And you never know, once we've actually um, cultivated it, we might be able to apply a bit of slurry. We might be able to do it beforehand, but it doesn't really make a difference in this game. All I know is it's had one application already. <laughs> so this field is still just a random headland of crop which is actually in flower. The canola is in flower and then the middle, uh, which must have only been drilled about a few hours later. It's not even germinated, so that's really weird. As I keep saying though, there's no reason why it can't even itself out. It should end up as a field which is all ready at the same time. Well, not necessarily at the same time, but all ready to harvest at the same time. Wait, didn't I just say the same thing? <laughs> you know what I mean. It's not going to wither. At least it shouldn't wither. Everything should be at the same stage eventually. Yeah, so this tractor should be absolutely fine with this cultivator. It's a fairly flat field. It's a high horsepower tractor. So it should all go according to plan. This is the tight squeeze area. You have to hold your breath through there. Oh yes, the fast track is living up to its name. Nice and fast. Right, so that is the field. That is an entrance for it, but we're going to go over here. It's just much easier to access it through this gate. So, I just think, if we can make loads of money from this year's harvest, we should be able to buy that area, a placeable area, and build greenhouses on it. However, it might be possible to convert one of our existing fields into the same sort of yard. Like I said, we don't actually need a yard so big. All I would really be looking for is a field which is totally flat does not want to be on a hillside. So this field here, not really good enough. It's just not flat enough. So I would imagine that placeable yard is the best thing to do to buy that, uh, just because it is totally flat. But you never know, we might own a field which is suitable. Actually that field there is quite flat in front of us. There are so many different options, but yes, not spending £181,000 initially would be a huge help. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, that is a, a large amount of money. Anyway, this is working, although we're just going to put diff lock on and four wheel drive. There we go. It makes all the difference. Yeah, I couldn't really do without the enhanced vehicle mod. It has transformed the ways that the tractors gain traction. 
I know you shouldn't turn with diff lock on, but in, again, in this game, it makes no difference whatsoever. And without it, we might struggle to turn the bend. Right then. So I'm just going to keep going across the field until it's done. But it should look quite neat at the end. Much faster than the plough, that's for sure. Now we could have mowed the grass first. As I said though, we have so much of it. We have no shortage of grass. We actually have well, at least another two fields to cut. And uh, we, we just don't need to keep cutting the fields. Seems like an odd thing to say, but really, um, we would just be repeating ourselves over and over again. It is a good source of money, um, but the price of silage with seasons running is nothing like the price of silage without. So I think we would be better, better off putting a, a good crop in here. And it saves us repeating ourselves. Now it is the 6th of spring. Sounds so weird when you say that. But that is not too late to do corn. So we could still get the corn planter into here. The same applies for any other fields which we might want to plough up. So, yeah, let's just take a look. It's actually not too late for anything. We could put anything in. But, yeah, I think corn would be the safest bet. The others want to be in a bit earlier, really. Despite it showing that you can put them in here, I have had problems in the past where they haven't actually ripened before winter. So, yeah, really, soybeans or corn. Anyway, that is our field completed. Looking good. Uh, we'll just fly up into the air and see it from above. Hopefully it looks good. There we go. So, yeah, we'll get the crop in next time, and we'll also try and make a load more money. I am debating whether or not I should reduce the amount of days per season. I don't think we need to have it so long, because I have... I have quite a few days in survival roleplay because uh, I'm obviously doing other stuff but yeah in a let's play like this I think probably three days is fine that's still quite a few episodes per season anyway yeah please do post your comments suggestions and everything down below um, I would love to hear from you about the greenhouse idea but until next time thanks for watching and see you again soon bye for now